A bit of a trend going around in the YouTube drawing community of 10 minutes, 1 minute, 10 second challenges where someone draws something in 10 minutes and then draws the same thing in 1 minute and then draws the same thing in 10 seconds. This is a really entertaining idea for a video and it seems like the perfect fit for Minecraft so I thought it would be a good idea to start things off with a bunker. Predictable, I know. I make no secret of the fact that I absolutely love building bunkers in Minecraft. They're probably one of the most satisfying things to construct for me. Anyway, uh, I actually think that this seems like a pretty good spot and I'm actually going to be flipping things around. We're going to do the 10 second build, then the one minute build, and then the 10 minute build. I'm gonna do some stretches because this is gonna be fast paced. And three, two, one, and go. Okay, so I would say we need a space that looks a little bit like this. We're going to need a bed, a chest, an anvil, some form of furnace, and I would say a crafting bench, and then two trap doors and that's everything done. That's not bad. So if you do a very quick tour of the structure, we have got an entrance system. We've got a place to sleep, a place to store all of our items. We've got a place to repair our items, a furnace, and also a crafting bench to craft up the items. I would say that that is pretty much all the essentials. And then to get out, all you have to do is flip up that trap door and then flip up the next one. And that is everything. I mean, I have to admit it's not particularly concealed and the security isn't exactly brilliant, but for 10 seconds, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. So that was a massive success. Now it is time to move on to the next challenge, which is one minute. We have six times as much time as we had in the previous challenge, which it still doesn't sound like very much. But my goal is a tiny bit more ambitious. So once again, it's time for some stretches. I'm not joking, by the way. I'm actually doing some stretches. Now that I'm fully limbered up, let's get to it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so let's take out all of this. I am already stressing out. So what I want to do is I want to create a flush piston door. So that is going to be like that. And then we need redstone on top of there. Okay, that's all of that finished. And then what I thought we'd do is create just a simple hose switch right there. And that is all of that redstone done. Okay, now we need to pop through down into this section. I'm not even looking at the time at this point because I have no clue how long we've been going for. But then we need all of this stuff. So that is going to be a bed, a furnace, a chest, and then a crafting bench, and I have so much time left. I mean, look at this. I can chill out. Buttons, redstone, and there we have it. We have got ourselves an armor equipping station as well. So if I just put this stuff into my inventory and then fill in all of these dispensers right here with all of the necessary items, then this little machine right here will equip us with full diamond armor. We are looking good. I find it so funny that when I'm in a rush and I'm trying to do something in a hurry, my voice goes like this. It's like I'm talking through gritted teeth. I don't know what my throat just tightens up. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, weird voices aside, we've actually managed to build something pretty cool here. If we till this soil, you can see that opens up our trap door and drops us down into the base area where we have everything necessary for survival. And I have just tried it. Yes, you can actually sleep in this bed. I mean, it's a bit uncomfortable on the knees, but other than that, the crafting bench isn't causing any problems. And the coolest thing about this place, in my opinion, is the fact that, of course, we have a fully functioning diamond armor equipper in the corner. I was not expecting to be able to build that in that small space of time. But we've actually done a pretty decent job. And of course, when you want to close up your trapdoor, all you have to do is until this soil and everything will shut up behind you. And then eventually this grass will spread over and the base will be completely hidden away. Now that is not bad for one minute. Actually, it's a little bit depressing, really. I mean, think how many minutes I wasted in a day. I could have built at least 100 bunkers yesterday. I wasted a lot of minutes. I, I discovered Dr. Pimple Popper on Instagram. Yeah, moving swiftly on from that, I don't know if you've spotted, but we've burst into a new world. And now we're going to be popping into the 10 minute challenge. This one should be slightly less of a tight squeeze. All right, three, two, one, and go. Now, once again, we're going to be going for a similar flush trapdoor system, but this one is going to be a tiny bit more advanced. Instead of using something like a hose switch, we're going to be using a redstone torch key just because I tend to prefer those. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but the previous trapdoor that we constructed in the last design, well, it was a little bit of a tricky one to get out of, so we're going to be working on that too. There is our piston door. Now, the next thing that we have to construct is actually the redstone torch key, which is really, really simple, but I haven't actually built one of these for a little while, so I'm kind of struggling to remember how to do it. I think it's something along the lines of this, and then it's a repeater, and then some redstone, and I think it powers... Does it do... 
No, that, that definitely seems wrong. Um, right, we got there in the end. So I'm actually going to increase the delay of that one. And I think we're going to build up some form of comparator pulse extender right here. Yeah, so that will that will allow us to actually extend out this pulse so that we can actually get through our trapdoor because otherwise we could have a bit of an issue. So that should do that. And if we place down a redstone torch... That's all great, but we need it to be flipped. So I'm guessing something like this should hopefully do the trick. Much better. All right, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, next thing that we need to do is build up this little slime block launcher down at the bottom here, which is going to launch us out. The only thing is, is that it needs to have a slight delay on it. And I imagine this should probably do the trick. So if we do something like this and then maybe put four ticks running into it, hopefully that should just be enough. No, no, of course it isn't. Right, let's go for something a little bit more extreme. So that's that, that's that, and then there we go. And now, I mean seriously, perfect. Yeah, that couldn't have been much better. I think it's safe to say that we are not going to be winning any style points for this build. <laughs> it's not looking good at this point in time. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, we've got plenty of time. So let's make this a tiny bit prettier by potentially putting in some walls and actually a floor in this one. Okay, it's not the prettiest place in the world, but it's definitely better. We have four minutes left to construct this thing, and I thought it'd be a good idea to build some form of defense system. Oh, I mean, how difficult is that gonna be? Probably quite difficult, but let's give it a go. Come on, where's the redstone lamp? Right, okay, there it is. So, that actually doesn't need to be connected up. We need to connect up the dispensers. Now, whereabouts the Oh, no! Thank goodness for that. That's so typical that I would choose to use concrete powder in my walls. Anyway, we managed to build all of that within one and a half minutes. So that means that we have... How long do we even have left? I don't even know. I'm just... just, just gonna... Okay, that's good. So that's deactivated the system. But if the system is active, then you don't want to walk through and break into this base. Good stuff. Right, we should probably actually get the bunkery things in. So let's get all of... Where is it? There. These bits. So we need this... Uh, I'm assuming we need some chests. We're probably going to need some furnaces too and a crafting bench. Okay, what else can we construct? Oh my word. I know, when in doubt, build an anvil replacement system. So, uh, I can't even remember how to build one. I'm panicking. It's so dark, I can't even see where I am. I have to finish this. Right, okay, redstone torch, I th I think. And then I... I Oh, how do you do it? Finally, I've just about remembered. Okay, so redstone torch there. Uh, redstone dust there. That powers each other at the same time. Right, we need to clear out all of the anvils so that this thing actually functions. Then we're going to need to update this guy, and then we need to replace all of the anvils. Where are they? Where are they? We are running out of time so badly here, and I want to double check that everything's done. Phew! I think we might have just about pulled it off. That is, our 10 minutes has just ticked over, and this is what our little bunker looks like. Have we forgotten anything? Let's see. So, I mean, what what would you normally have in a bunker? I guess we've got the furnaces, we've got the chests, we've got the crafting bench, we've got the bed. We have an anvil. I can't think of anything else. I think that we've actually managed to pull something off here, and this is quite a nice little spot that we've created here. I especially, I actually really like, I really like the concrete powder in the walls. Right, okay, let's give it a spin, see if it all functions. So, as you saw at the start, to gain access to this thing, you're going to need a redstone torch, and I believe you place it on there. The redstone torch then gets broken, and you drop into the base, and then everything closes up behind you. Now, we do have ourselves a defense system, so if you're in your base doing your thing, you can activate this. So if anyone comes through into the base and utilizes your little hidden entrance without you wanting them to, then they will get blasted by a whole ton of arrows. And these things are pretty brutal. So that seems to be functioning pretty nicely. And of course, we've got all of the standard bunker stuff like chests, furnaces, and everything like that. But we have the added redstone contraption of a nice little anvil replacement system. So when your anvil breaks, it will be replaced by the redstone. Very, very cool. Oh, and of course, if you want to leave this place, I mean, it's a bit of a hassle with these flush trapdoors and things like that getting out. It's a tiny bit tricky. So the machine does it all for you. It launches you out back onto the surface and then everything closes up behind you and there is absolutely no evidence that you have been here. 
So there we go, ladies and gents, that rounds up today's ridiculously stressful redstone video. I'm going to have to take a cold bath after this one, but I do hope you enjoyed it. I love this concept. It's a lot of fun to mess around with. So let me know down in the comment section if you want to see it again, and if so, what do you want to see next? Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please also that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.